they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into Hi guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays, and in this video, I'm going to do my gaming journal, which if you don't know, is a series of mine where I kind of tell you what games I beat, what games I'm currently playing, and what games I want to play in the near future. So let's get into the video. Now on a side note, I really don't do this at all in my other videos, but I am trying to reach 5k subs on YouTube by the end of the year. I do everything Nintendo, JRPGs, RPGs, cozy gaming, and reviews, so if you're into that, you're in the right spot. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Alright, so this gaming journal is going to consist of July and August because I didn't do anything in July, so I put the two together. Hope you don't mind. Now on to the games that I beat. I didn't beat that much games, to be honest. I think I have to mix up the way I play games nowadays because it's not giving me the best results overall. And I want to enjoy my games while getting content. So here are the games I beat. I beat Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Houses. Now I did the Black Eagles and I did the Blue Lion route. I'm going to do the Golden Deer some other time, but I don't want to burn out on this game. So I just did two routes. Now for this game, I'm going to save a lot of my thoughts and stuff about it for the review because I am doing a worth to buy for it. But basically, it takes the warrior style gameplay and puts it in its own twist. It's a kind of what if alternate universe if you play Fire Emblem Three Houses. So I highly recommend you play it. Like I said, I'm leaving most of my thoughts for my review, but it's really good. And the next game that I beat is Stray. I don't have it physically. It's so weird not having a physical game to just touch. Stray is a very short game. It's a PlayStation exclusive game. And I loved it. It was different and unique. Something that we need in more games nowadays where everything's so generic. Though I do have my gripes with it. Especially when it came to how it told its story. I know it's in a viewpoint of a cat so we can't be thinking too much but there's so much lore going on all around and all these different pieces of what happened and why are people robots and why are they underground i had so many questions that i probably won't get answers to but besides the lore you are a cat in this game a very cute orange cat and then you fall into the city which was really painful to watch if you're anyone who has pets or animals it, it was like it, it broke my heart but soon this little feline friend gets acquainted with this little robot who knows a lot about what's going on and you guys get entangled into trying to figure out how to help these robot people and make things better basically and also getting the robot's memories back very very nice game and like i said it's unique now the next game i beat is monster hunter rise some break i did beat the main story and got that finished so all i could do is relax and play with friends i don't have to worry about you know doing quests or whatever are you sure about that yeah i'm kidding i was told that there is actually another ending to this game and i should have seen it coming because they pull that all the time in monster hunter games where the main ending is not the ending <laughs> So I don't know why I was so surprised, but yeah, there's more to this. So why is it on this list? But it's a perfect segue to our next category, the games I'm currently playing. So the first game I'm currently playing is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Now I'm on chapter three. I'm not really as far as I would like, but I had a lot of stressful things happen these past few weeks. But since things have calmed down in my life, and hopefully stay that way, I do want to get into the meat of this game and get invested like all you guys. I get embarrassed, I'm just like, I'm in chapter 3. <laughs> I know I always say game at your own pace, but sometimes, you know, especially with a hype game. So when people say you're just on chapter 3, I'm just like, yeah, taking my time, <laughs> taking my time. So I'm going to dive right back into this game when I want something a little bit more meatier. And the next game is another digital game. I know it hurts my physical collector's heart, but sometimes you got to chase some sales. Anyways, the game I'm talking about is Two Point Campus. Now it's on the Switch. It's on the PlayStation 2. 
and PC as well, but I chose mine for the Xbox because of Xbox Game Pass. I mean, why, why would I go buy it when it's free? I don't know. Maybe I'll buy it one day when they come out with a physical deluxe collection or something. Now I love this game so much because I love Two Point Hospital because it was this spin on the simulation type games. But they made it more exciting because city build and other stuff like that, well yeah, they're simulation games. They could be quite boring, but I love how Two Point Hospital and Two Point Campus have this unique kind of vibe to them because the characters are drawn in cartoons and everything is very playful, nothing's taken seriously. I love the music. The music is amazing. You even have this DJ or radio station guy who has the funniest lines. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Brickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dunk you like a biscuit. Like, it's just very, very fun and funny. But not only that, it does have a lot of the simulation stuff that I love. The customization, especially in Two Point Campus, is really, really good. Two Point Campus is one of those games where you could just play a few sessions, put it down, pick it back up. It's very nice and casual and it fits the whole vibe of the game. And I really love it for that. Now, if you ask me which do I think is better, Two Point Hospital or Two Point Campus, I would have to say Two Point Campus just because of the improvements that they've made with the whole building and how to add things, making it more streamlined. So while I do love Two Point Hospital, Two Point Campus improved on a lot of things. And the next game I'm currently playing is AI The Sumnum Files Nirvana Initiative. Now this is the sequel to AI The Sumnum Files, which is a very awesome game and I highly recommend. But I've been hearing really really good things about the sequel and I want to get into it. I'm not sure where to squeeze this game in. It's a visual novel point and click kind of detective thing going on. So while there is visual novel stuff, there is also gameplay mechanics too. I'm really interested to see what the sequel does. Now for the games I want to play in the future. Now the first thing I want to do is destroy my Animal Crossing island. I hate it. I hate it. It gives me anxiety every time I go in. I don't like the way it is. I don't remember how my island used to look. The I, my ideas just never clicked, so there's a bunch of just junk everywhere. So I'm going to just destroy it and start a new island. So hopefully that'll get me back into playing some Animal Crossing because I hit a huge burnout. And all I have to say is thank God I'm not an Animal Crossing channel because that would drive me insane. So to start new, I'm gonna destroy my island. Woo! I want to stream the Splatoon 3 test fire that they're going to have at the end of the month because Splatoon 3 is looking very very hot and I'm looking forward to playing it again and playing it you know on a constant basis. So with Splatoon 3 I want to start new and I actually want to be good because <laughs> I am pretty good at the game especially with the carbon roller. You see me with that carbon roller you better run because I am a pro with the roller. Especially the carbon roller. So get ready for Splatoon 3 content in the future. So that is it for my gaming journal for July and August. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what games that you've beaten, you're playing, or you want to play in the future in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you like my channel and would love to see more, please hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 5k. Let's go. And as always, play the game, but maybe not all these games. Peace, peace.